Apollo 8 is now coming around the far side of the moon, coming up on the trailing side of the moon as we see it from Earth. It will be coming around that uh, corner, uh, right at the middle point of the moon. Uh, in uh, just two minutes from now, it is estimated. Uh, that is, it will come around to the point that communication can be reestablished with the ground. With every uh, revolution of the moon, uh, this signal is lost when the moon disappears, uh, when the uh, spacecraft disappears behind the moon and gets in the shadow of the moon from Earth. With this uh, pass around, and we'll be listening to mission control just as soon as it comes up uh, to hear that acquisition again, uh, because this has been an important one. With On this pass behind the moon, the uh, service propulsion system engine, the only engine available to the uh, spacemen uh, powerful enough to get them out of this lunar orbit, uh, was supposed to have its second firing the firing that brings the spacecraft into a circular orbit around the moon. Up to now, in its two revolutions, the orbit has been elliptical uh, or egg-shaped. This will bring it into a near-perfect circle to just about 69 or 70 miles above the moon's surface. On this pass, there will be no television transmission, none is scheduled at any rate. The spacecraft will be headed uh, downward and uh, through the two available out of five windows, uh, Bill Anders will begin taking the series of photographs, uh, which is one of the principal purposes of the mission. Just as soon as we hear mission control come up, we will go to mission control uh, for that moment when the spacecraft is in touch again. Uh, this will be the most critical turn around the moon until the 10th revolution at uh, 1230 uh, this midnight on early Christmas morning when the engine will be fired for the most important time uh, to bring the spacecraft out of lunar orbit and on its way home. We have heard nothing from Houston yet to indicate that this communication has been reestablished. Just the moment we do, we will punch it up so all of us can hear it at the same time. This graphic representation uh, shows you the orbits around the moon and the moon's path around the Earth. The orbital track around the moon uh, is just about the same. It doesn't uh, vary in those uh, uh, high peaks and low peak oscillations of an orbital track around the Earth that we're used to. Uh, it's more nearly circular. Let's listen to mission control. This is Apollo Control, Houston. We expect to acquire just momentarily. The first call has gone out. We have acquired, we're reading uh, good tank pressures. And uh, here goes the first call. Uh, Apollo 8, Houston, over. Houston, over. Apollo 8, over. Apollo 8, Houston, loud and clear on me. Houston, Apollo 8, over. Apollo 8, Houston, loud and clear on me. Roger, ready to copy. Roger, the bird was on time, 11 seconds, 0.2 with the VGX.
minus 9.4. Burbank 2 gives us an apogee of 62 and a perigee of 60. Apollo 8, this is Houston. Roger. Uh, your burn was on time. 11 seconds. <laughs> VGX was plus 0.2. VGY minus 1.8. VGZ minus 0.2. Delta VC minus 9.4. Apogee 6.2. Parity 6.0.8, over. circuit's noisier than we can recall in the last two passes, but we have heard the crew member, I think, Borman confirm an apogee of 62 miles, a perigee of 60.8, a virtually perfect uh, second burn, giving us a circular orbit. We'll continue to we'll leave the line open. you see on uh, the spacecraft uh, animation here is precisely that that is taking place according to the flight plan uh, of the Apollo 8 over the moon. This is an exceedingly noisy circuit uh, reception from the spacecraft. This has not been the case in almost any of the passes uh, yet around the moon or even on the long translunar projector. And there has been no explanation from Houston as to why they believe that this particular transmission should be that noisy. The uh, spacecraft came around the moon in good shape. The firing of the engine was again a perfect and now that leaves just one major firing of that engine yet, the one that uh, in the early hours of Christmas morning will take the men out of lunar to orbit and on the way back home. But why this noisy circuit now has not been explained. control again. Um, apogee on this, the third rev around the moon, will occur at 80 degrees west longitude, 9 degrees 30 minutes north latitude. Those are lunar coordinates, of course. The perigee on this rev will occur at uh, 9 degrees 29 minutes south. Uh, latitude and uh, 99 degrees 28 minutes east longitude that'll be on the back side of the moon and our numbers now show uh, an apogee of 60.9 versus a perigee of 60.5 compared to 60 62 mile apogee and a 60.8 mile apogee from the crew uh, excellent agreement The uh, mission control apogee measured by 
instruments on the ground which are tracking the spacecraft on its pass across the face and side of the moon would put the orbit at almost precisely uh, 70 statute miles. The information from the spacecraft uh, put it at 71, 3 and 69 minutes. That we are planning a press conference to begin in about 45 minutes in the uh, MSC auditorium, 9.30 Houston time.